Breaking six weeks after one of the ugliest nights in Vancouver history, the city is a big step closer to restoring its dignity. Small businesses caught on the front lines of the Stanley Cup riot are getting a helping hand, not from government, but from each other. Senior reporter Rob Brown has our top story. The sounds and smells of good cooking fill the air at this small family business. But the Gino Restaurante may not be open for business, if not for a helping hand. 2445 and 60 cents. That was the cost of the deductible needed to cover the replacement of almost every window at this restaurant. Vandals caused millions of dollars in damage that night. Big corporations can absorb big expenses. Little businesses, not so much. So a group of companies came together to start a riot restoration fund. We're reaching out to all of the small businesses to make sure that they all get covered. To date, about two dozen businesses have been identified. TELUS and Van City handing over checks today. It means that we're not alone, and, and it felt like we were very alone for about six hours that night. Even small companies helping those in need. This couple owns a Surrey tattoo shop. Uh, she has a check for Holy for the Rosary. Holy Rosary Cathedral. And donated 5,300 bucks oh, to a Catholic church. It's a projectile. This rock, one of many Father Glenn Dion found after seven windows were smashed at the rectory hall next to Holy Rosary Cathedral. He stood in his collar trying to stop the thugs, but couldn't. Even so, he has forgiven them. But I think what has to be a part of the understanding of forgiveness, that there is justice nonetheless needing to be attended to. He isn't the only one looking for justice. Just down the street from Holy Rosary and just next door to that Italian restaurant sits this Blends Coffee location, which as you can tell, is undergoing some renovation. It too was attacked during the riot and the owner of the company wants to take the rioters to court. We want those people to come forward. You know who you are. He filed a civil suit and is combing through online videos trying to identify the offenders. Not interested in financial assistance, but keen to make the people responsible pay. Rob Brown, CTV News, Vancouver.